Hi, Marek Mulacek here from Site Train to Code UK, and in this video, I want to share with you uh, my experience with the Microsoft Surface Pro 5. Now, what's interesting is people often just can't believe that uh, I'm using this Surface Pro 5 for everything. Now, this is quite decently spec one. This one has a 16 gigabytes of RAM, Intel i7 processor and the SSD obviously <laughs> drive. Uh, I'll put the specs here on the screen as well. But what's interesting is that this is, at the time of the recording, this is July 2020 and this is a Surface Pro 5. This is a three, three-year-old uh, machine from three years ago, okay? I'm going to show you some things in here. So I'm going to launch After Effects. I'm also going to launch Premiere Pro at the same time. And this may take a moment to load, but once it's up and running, it's actually working really well. Uh, I'm actually going to show you some of the things I can do with uh, 3D in After Effects as well. Now this is the machine I'm using for all photo and video editing and animations for everything pretty much in here, okay? It's After Effects is up and running already, okay? I've actually got a uh, pre project here already, which I'm going to load, the 3D project. It's got uh, four layers already, but I'm going to make a new one as well, and I'm going to import a 3D, actual 3D object, so I'm going to show you in the meantime, is okay. So I go here, I went to this website here. I've downloaded a couple of different objects, like this house, and there was an Iron Man somewhere here as well. Here, okay, free3d.com. Now remember, the free ones are just for personal use. Just keep it in mind, okay? So, I'm in After Effects. I'm going to go to Premiere as well and maybe open this project here, which I use for my courses on Udemy with, the co with a bunch of content here. So if I go to Premiere here, Asked it to the full and it's just going to give us again to load the media. Here we go. Um, if I play it, it plays just fine without any lag at all. Okay. Including this After Effects project, which I have here at the beginning. This is from After Effects, this one here. Okay, with some free text flying in. Same time, if I go to After Effects. And I'm going to make a new Cinema 4D light layer. Okay, maximum Cinema 4D file. And I'm going to call it a test. Put in a downloads folder here. Okay. We'll have the Cinema 4D light load. And once it's loaded, I'm going to import one of these 3D objects into here. Even here in After Effects, it's actually doing a really good job even with 3D objects very good for, you know, for a three-year-old uh, machine. <laughs> I use this for all my courses. I'm going to close this dialog box. I will go to the Object Manager, File, uh, Merge Objects. I'll bring one of these objects here. So let's say... Actually, the house is perfect. So let me just bring this in. I'll click OK here. Here we go. So if I zoom in, zoom out, perfect performance, I can fly it around, no lag at all, and let's say if I expand the layers here, select the roof, let's find the roof, where are we, here we go, this is the roof, and let's apply a texture to it, so I'll go to create, uh, load material preset, let's see, maybe a wood, Do -do -do. sequoia, I will drop it onto here. Let's render it. Let's render it in, well, a second, maybe two seconds. Let's do one more. So I'll select this chimney here. That's the chimney. Let's uh, add another texture, another material preset. Let's see stone, maybe. Mm, let's see. Uh, I don't know, marble. Where are we? So there, apply there. 
let's just zoom out a little bit, render it. It's done it in just you know two seconds or so. Okay, and if I just save it, come back into After Effects, give it a moment. Here we go. It's already here. All right, back in. Cinema for the light, even though well, this is a video about the performance of this machine here. So you know, I can go and add some other objects in here as well, or I can just close Cinema for the light, go back in here. I got a bunch of other layers in there as well. So if I just hide this one here, it's rendering. So this may take a little bit. I've actually noticed that I'm getting a fantastic performance in Cinema 4D. <laughs> Uh, much better than here in uh, After Effects, but still, that's that's in here, okay, uh, in there. Obviously, the render will take a moment, so it's rendering now, because this is a, these are all 3D objects. It's rendering them in here, but it's actually not too bad for you know all the machine. Let's put it this way. Let's see if I go to project panel, import some other content. So let's say if I go into my, uh, let's see, like uh, rotoscoping for example, and I'll rotate uh, this here, and I'll make a new sequence from that. There we go. I'll grab the roto brush here. Okay. Uh, we'll open the layer, obviously. We'll roto brush. Uh, and the car, so what I would normally do on the course is replace what's outside the window. Okay, so just add that. So you can see the performance is really good. It's pretty much instantaneous, even for rotoscoping. Now, this is a full HD video, by the way, so it's high resolution video. Okay, and if I go here and just propagate. Getting a really good, decent performance. So, say if I stop here, add a bit extra here. Now, this looks all fine, but just want to propagate a bit more. Here we go. And I'll press space by again to continue propagating here. So it's propagated in the, f the first 16 frames, and it is, it's doing it quite well. You know, keep in mind that this is, uh, you know, like a tablet slash laptop. It's very slim, but it's quite, a and this is quite old as well. So it's quite a good one for quite an old machine in here. So it's doing really well. So I'm going to stop here at this stage, and it's going to propagate these frames in here can go back to Premiere, let's see what can we do here, so I could go to say effects, uh, look for effect to apply, it will be really really quick and easy in here, I've got a number of, them. so I'm going right in photo, Premiere and After Effects, I could even open Photoshop, these are all 2020 versions, uh, do bear in mind that in general uh, Photoshop, for example, takes a bit longer to load with this new version, which I updated to uh, last week or two weeks ago. So it does take a bit longer, but once it's up and running, it's actually really, really good. You know, obviously, this is all taking toll on the machine. So if I go into Task Manager, uh, so it's using 95% of memory, 80, 70, 60% of the CPU. Now we don't need that. Just close that. It's actually doing not too bad. In terms of memory, After Effects is using most. It's using almost 7 gigs of memory and Premiere 1 gigabyte as well. But still working fine. So I could open something here in Photoshop. Okay. Could grab something here, like, like an image. I don't know, any image, anything, you know, like something here. I don't know, it's just an image. Or I could make a new one as well. Once it's up and running, it'll be fine. So I could go file, new at the same time, pick something new, I don't know, create. This is, you know, really quick. I can draw a shape. This is 
instantaneous. And something that I have said before on some other videos before is I love using the Windows uh, Microsoft Pen, the stylus on it. This is what I normally use. I'm just using the mouse right now so you can see my cursor. <laughs> but I would normally use it. And I can use touch screen so I can just zoom in, zoom out. I'm using my fingers on the screen right now. Okay. I can rotate the canvas at the same time. I'm not switching any tools. I'm just using my fingers here. I'm still on the ellipse tool. All right. So in general, great performance from uh, this Microsoft Surface Pro. I would definitely highly recommend it for any photo, video editing and design work. Any questions, let me know in the comments uh, below. But in general, very, very good uh, machine. And you know, if you've been watching my videos, I have been using Surface Pro machines for quite a few years now. I had a Surface Pro 4 and Surface Pro 3 before that as well. So definitely highly recommend it. And once again, these are the specs of the machine I'm using here. This one there. So. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mularczyk from SciTrain.co.uk for Photoshop Premiere After Effects Lightroom courses. And thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.